police can stop anyone uh, who uh, they feel uh, might be an undocumented, undocumented uh, immigrant. It's an amazing bill, and it's based upon, I guess, the color of your skin. Otherwise, I can't imagine what the police could possibly use as a criteria for stopping yes. someone. Right. Yes. Could you comment on what the, what's going on in America and why is this craziness mm -hmm. uh, getting so big? I will. I think that we're scared. I think we're scared. I think that and, uh, we don't. We're afraid for our future. Uh, we're afraid for our children's futures. We, some of us feel a sense of entitlement. Some of us feel that what we've worked hard for is slipping through our very hands. And you know what? I understand and I um, empathize, or certainly sympathize with those who feel that way. I must say that. I do. But that is no excuse. That is no excuse for demonizing someone for you know, reasons that have nothing to do with the character of the individual, for demonizing someone, merely by virtue of, of, as you said, outward characteristics. That's just wrong. It's overreactionary, but it is a reaction to the current economic conditions, and it's happened before. This is not the first time in American history this has happened. And it's happened to people who had uh, last names that ended in vowels, as we, as we know. It depends on the era, it depends on the circumstances, and what we have to do, though, is really think about, and I talk about this a lot, but American exceptionalism and create a standard that says we are better than this and we can work out these issues. But you have to be able to communicate around that. Arizona has significant issues. We're not Arizona. I'm not um, in the shoes of the individuals who live there, but I do know this, that, that I can guarantee you that those kinds of strategies will, will ultimately backfire. And they don't take us closer to where we need to be. I want to say one other, um, if I may, make one other comment about immigration. You know, I it's very- I know what your opponent's going to say. I'm sorry, <laughs> I know. I, <laughs> and, and that is this. You know, the fact of the matter is that um, when you go into Arizona and Texas and the sort of the border areas, um, that is a very different world than the one in which we live here. It's America, but it's rather different in the following way. I have spoken to people um, who know individuals, had families that lived on, one side, one, on both sides of the border, and in some instances, families would come across the border into the U.S. and go to school and then leave and go back into Mexico. So we have had very, we've had a very porous border in, in many parts of the USA for a very long time. And so we have, uh, we have had habits, we have had um, that, that uh, have created an expectation of, of transience and, and transiency across the border, back and forth. We have had families that have lived on both sides of the border. We have relationships and we are, uh, um, that have uh, been in existence for generations. And what we are trying to do now is to tamp down all of that. I can guarantee you it won't work without some coherent, clear policies. That's what we need. 